Hey guys, hello, hello, welcome to the video. It's Boss Hog, yay. So, after doing the Soul Fiend Lance quest, um, Bork and I decided, I was like, you know what, I'm so sick and tired of being level 45. I need to push through to get out of 45 uh, so that some things open up for me so I can do some stuff. I'm just, I've been 45 for so long, I'm just so sick and tired of it. And so uh, Borg said, uh, hey, let's go to the whole entrance and see if we can uh, duel the entrance. So since you were over here on this side of the world anyway, we decided to go uh, check out the hole. Yeah, Borg had the key, so we were able to get in. And uh, when we got to the entrance, it looked like there was already some people camping the, uh, the whole entrance. Uh, they were about my level range. And fortunately, it didn't look like they wanted to, to group. You know, which is fine, um, but you know, it would it would have been pretty cool to to check it out to see just see how well we would have done, honestly. So, with that being said, we decided to uh, Bork had actually another idea for us uh, to go to. So we we're like, all right, let's head on out of there and go somewhere else. I came across such a weird bug I've never seen before. Uh, when we left the hole, I was stuck in the pond <laughs> i couldn't get out of the pond as you can see from the footage i don't know what was going on it it was just it was so damn nutty um eventually yeah, i was able to get out of the pond but yeah i don't i don't know what happened there that was just so crazy so the suggestion that Bork had was uh something i actually totally forgot about is uh we'll go into Paniel and kill the guards and that's, uh, as you can see, that's why it took so long for this video, you know, for me to get some of this footage, uh, because it's really, really such a busy place. Um, with Bork's help, uh, we're in the, the, the courtyard. I was able to, well, yeah, I was able to kill all the, the spawns, you know, with his buffs and healing and everything. It was really, really quite nice, you know, having him there. I'm sure he was bored, but having him there was a was a big help. But yeah, I, I really did. I honestly I forgot about this place. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time here on Red, which I'll, I'll talk about uh, next part of the video. But yeah, uh, they dropped some really good cash. This is why uh, they are pretty much farmed all the time. Hello guys, welcome back. So we're going to attempt to do these on our own. Shouldn't be too big a problem by myself. Uh, or Bork said he was able to get like three um, on his own as well. So and he's like lower level <laughs> and you're erudite, so shouldn't be a problem for a uh, big old boss hog. So the first one we want to get is uh, Guard Patron. Now, something to note, if you pull guards over here to this corner, uh, they get, like, complete healed. Uh, some some cleric or something will, will complete heal them. So we're going to try and kill them over here. So let's, uh, let's give them a go. Let's see. So we're going to start out with a little Shadow Vortex. And then Shroud of Hate. I actually had to get Shroud of Hate uh, from Valeus. I didn't have it. Then, uh, yeah. Got a little Siphon Strength. I'll just beat him down. Shouldn't be a problem. When I, I didn't have Sh Shroud of Hate earlier while I was trying to do this, they're actually doing a lot more damage than he's doing now. So he's not doing as much now, which is pretty good. Able to able to maintain my life bar my life bar quite a bit quite a bit easier. But that shroud of hate really does that negative. I think it's negative 40 attack to the mob that you cast it on. It is really showing a significant uh, you know benefit. Now normally you'd probably be wondering why I don't have a pet up right now, and the reason why is. Uh, I'm going to have to kill. Well, so the guards are on the corner. I'm going to have to kill uh, next, and I don't have room for the uh, the feigned death split. 
Now he's almost dead. I'm gonna cast darkness on it because I have noticed that they will run. Or he's run before. <laughs> so we're gonna cast some darkness on him just to uh, prevent him from running. There you go. Look at that. That wasn't too bad. And the, uh, like, I said, they, like I said, they always drop the sword and the shield, which sells for, uh, basically it's about seven plat. I think the sword sells for three, and the shield sells for four. So, as you can see, that's really why this camp is always taken, you know, um, because, well, like I said, it's good XP, but, you know, for this level, but also the uh, the money that you can make here was great. And in fact, I uh, I was here on the red server. I leveled my cleric up here for, um, I think, in the mid-20s to, uh, hell, to 50, honestly, <laughs> just here in Paniel. And the a lot of this, you know, since it's a lower population and the red server, some of the spells, like you know, research spells, stuff like that, you know, it's it's harder to to find. But there's a guy on there that pretty much sells all the spells, a player, not a vendor, obviously, and he's pretty pricey. Uh, he knows, you know, he's, he knows the market. You know, not many people with the uh, the ability to research stuff like that, so. Supply and demand, really. And so me camping and here leveling up, I was able to make quite a bit of money and to save up for spells I would need, uh, like for the Necromancer I had on red, or have on red, still have it. I don't think there's research spells for clerics, but like for the for the Necromancer, there was a, there was a research spell. And uh, where I used to, where I used to always camp out was right here. I want to keep sitting down so I can bed. Was uh, yeah, we'd post up right here, and we, or I would kill the mobs. I would just uh, root, root and nuke basically with the cleric because the uh, the undead DDs with the cleric were just great. And I'd just go back and forth here if it break root and just keep keep nuking them down and with them going back and forth here there was no uh no complete healing like there's no cleric somewhere hidden somewhere to to heal it uh as opposed to where i'm at here like i said there is a cleric and he will get complete healed like in this corner here so uh like i said we're going to do the split is that vampiric embrace it is okay uh Take that off because I don't have not a pet just yet. Go ahead and put Vampiric Brace there. Cast that here in a second. Uh, yeah, so like I said, we're going to do the Feign Death split. And if we go right here, like I said, when I want to pull him here. If I had a pet, no matter where I have a pet, he would, uh, they would, they would get it, right? So, uh, might as well do the pet after after the fact so darkness and feign death oh, I should have done <laughs> I should have done vampiric embrace that's a pretty quick cast I can do that um, do that after Maritanar goes away alright I'll come back over here successful split and like I said, once we kill this guy here, did it? All right, yeah, it worked, okay. For a second, I didn't think uh, Vampiric Embrace worked on him, but it did, yay. There we go, and then Siphon Strength. There we go. Oh, I thought I had my attack on. I must have turned it off somehow. Now, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Sophie Lance. It's been really make sure it is is it just him attacking me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> For some reason I thought I was getting attacked from someone else. The Sophie Lance has been doing really good for me. Um 
fact, I'm going to put that right there. Was getting my, um, regaining some of the life back. Wow, this guy actually hit kind of hard. And see, this is with the, uh, oh shoot, I'm not even life tapping. I'm siphoning straight this whole time. No wonder I'm losing health so much. Oh my goodness. Rookie mistakes, as always. So the, the Sophie and Lance, what I do is try to kind of get him down. Golly, 80. And then uh, switch it out like that. Like I said, I've got him right here. I can just swap out. And hopefully the, the Lance will proc real fast. I think I have bandages too. Golly, I can't believe how much this guy hurt. Well, now that the spawns are split, I'll be able to, uh, won't be so bad. Do I not have bandages? Crap, I don't have bandages. I thought I did. Well, I don't know who sells bandages here. There's a vendor right here. Does he sell bandages? Crap. All right, well, let's sell this while we're here. I don't know too much about the vendors here. No, there's a vendor here. I know where the whole key sold here. Nope, he's a chore. Yeah, I'm going to have to bind wound. Uh, the, the mobs respawn is like, I don't know, 20 minutes? Bandage is perfect. You know what? We'll buy two stacks. We'll just buy a wound and then rest a bit. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier now because I'll be able to have a pet up. Oh, get over here. There we go. Yeah. Not a not riveting gameplay, I must say, but you know, it's it is what it is. Um if you you could be a different class and you could get these two as well um those two guards uh but for the most part for me for this level killing the first one you saw me kill the one i just now killed and um who was it the one i'm about to kill those three are pretty much the the ones that uh pretty comfortable killing by myself uh, let's get a pet up because uh, I want to get the, the pet buff as well and it takes a little bit of time to what do you call it you know for the cooldown after you learn a, a spell for the cooldown to to go away whatever all right that and we'll have a guard and now we will get strength and death. Yeah, it's good to uh, it's good to be back on Boss Hog. Really, really miss this guy. I like him. Uh, I am now actually forty six. Finally got out of that hell level. It took forever, but I finally got out of it. Now, if I can uh, hurry up and push my way through. Um, these next few levels, that'll definitely open up some some doors for me. I really hope <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. Like right now I'm accustomed to level 45. Level 45 forever, gosh. It just, yeah, it, it, forever. And it just seemed like it never, never ended. So, um, so far just being out of 45, just being this little bit in 46 has been really, uh, Really nice just seeing the XP bar go up as it has. Now I did I did mess up one time here. I I, I was real low on health or real low on mana, and I had a mob. I had one of these guards just beating the tar out of me, and I was like, I thought I could beat him, and I was like, crap, I need to feign death. But I ran out of mana and I couldn't feign death because uh, I was out of mana and I ended up dying. But that's what happens sometimes, you know. You gotta. Oh, my harm touch was was not up as well, so 
there was that. Now, one of the neat things about this cam is well, I'm going to try to bind wound at least to 50%, and then I'll show you. I need to, uh, I need to regain some mana real fast. Um, I'll do one more bind wound, and then I'll show you. It is I've got my Sulfine Lance up. It didn't proc, but that's okay. It's right here, this guard. Guard Luf Lufa. He's a low level. He's a green. He's real low level. And what you can do is you can um, just life tap him down. See, his life bar is going down really fast. To uh, regain some of your, your life back really easily. Come on, proc. I uh, didn't proc. Oh well. And, you know, he's worth killing also because, right there, seven plat. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to met up, and I want to kill, oh, Mertenard there. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not really used to camping this side, you know, where you've got to be real um, particular with where you kill them so that they don't get complete healed. I remember, like I said, I was in that corner right here to the left. And I was like, I just about got the guard killed, and he got a complete heal. I was like, crap. And I was beating him down again. I just about got him killed again, and he got a complete heal. I was like, are you freaking kidding me with that? Oh, it was just absolutely terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Um, actually, that was the instance I was telling you about where I ended up dying, because I, I ran out of mana trying to, trying to, trying to kill the guy, and didn't didn't pay attention, didn't save up enough. Uh, oh, I forgot I have this right here. See a little swap out right there, boom, boom. But yeah, I didn't have enough uh, mana for feign death, like a, like a moron. But yeah, this was the, the camp that uh, I wanted to, uh, I was wanting to show in the next video. Uh, like I said, it, it's generally, it's, it's camped all the time. I'm, honestly, I'm really surprised there's nobody here at this time i'm glad i'm really glad that way i could uh, get a video up or get a video recorded showing this spot uh i think what i'd like to do what i would like to do is i would like to get i'd like to get some levels here definitely get out of 46 47 you know 48 whatever something like that but uh there is a rather dangerous spot i'd like to go to just as an adventure, if you will, um, I guess for, I guess you could say it's for XP, but it's it's like it's more just to see what it's all about. Um, yeah, so um, I think my next video we'll, we might go to a, a, a dangerous place and see how well I do there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was hoping my mana would be up real fast before I, I got through with the uh, end of the video here so we could we could do this kill. Um, kind of wondering, tell you what, we'll go ahead and kill him real fast. That should be enough mana to kill this guy. Oh, I didn't, um, bust the pet. Here we go. Yeah, so you'll see, yeah, because I want to show you guys how much easier it is with the pet, you know, obviously helping you out. Okay, Vampire Cabrace. Yeah, the pet It's just this this opening, you know, splitting and getting everything squared away is what's uh what's the slow part. Okay, cool. Alright. Well I'll pull him up right here. Alright, cool. Shroud of hate. Did he I guess he knocked me back. There we go. Cool. And then we will uh, siphon or siphon strength, and then we'll just start beating them down and uh, life tap the hell out of them, because I should be able to regain all my um, my mana by the time the next spawn or the the first one I killed respawns. Yeah, okay, it's going down pretty pretty good. There are some classes here that would do really well. 
Oh! Amaz, seeing he cast the damage shield on me. Nice! Thank you, Amaz. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, what do you call it? Let me thank him. That was a pretty nice, uh, little bit of, uh, help. That's awesome. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> well, that's that, guys. Uh, I think also I want to start working on the next skull quest for the shaman very soon. So, uh, yeah. Until uh, next time, I don't know if the boss hog, next boss hog video is going to come up or if the shaman video will come up next. But, you know, regardless, thanks, thanks guys for watching, for watching it all. I much appreciate it. Until next time, I will speak to you all again later. Bye now.